It's Wednesday, Klaus here. It's time for another basic DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Hello, Klaus here. It's Wednesday and time for yet another basic DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In this episode, I'll show you how you could make your own transition preset so you can reuse that for your projects. So let's uh, jump right into it. So we have um, this clip right here, girl walking and people walking and we want to do a transition in between this and we want to customize that. So first up, let's go up to the effects library and here we have our video transitions, you know, and we have a million of these. And again, we can go over them like this, hover over what we're going to do. And then we could add this transition in between our clip. However, if you saw this right here, I'm going to zoom in. This is a pretty common question, you know, why? can I make the transition go over these two clips? And the main reason for this is actually that the clip itself just ends here. So it has no place to do a transition from and to. So if you want to, for instance, make a transition here, I'll just delete my transition. We need to trim our clip shorter. So we have handles in both ends. And now we can do it as you see right here. So that's actually just a little bonus thing. So I'm just going to delete this transition. So I'm going to select a different transition because we have some fusion transitions and I think that would be way more cool to use. We could use like a paint on effect. However, I will like to use the noise dissolve here. So I'm going to add in a noise dissolve and we can see that right here. So again, if you think the dissolve effect or the fusion transition is a little bit too slow, you could go up here and go up to the playback and change the render cache to smart. And it's going to render that transition if needed and will make the, the transition run way faster. Okay, so let's get into the portion of customizing this transition right here. Um, for some of the fusion transitions, you actually have different versions and you can see those right here. So I'm on version one, which is this wipe effect. We have here a version two, which is more like a blob effect. And uh, version three, which is lines or stripes. Four is like kind of a melting effect here. And five is a clock wipe. However, I think I will just be on, let's just take the default one here. However, if you want to change stuff around in here, we're going to select the clip here and we'll go up to the transition in the inspector. And then we can change the different types. So per default, it's linear, but we can change this. So it'll give a totally different effect. I'm going to make the transition a bit longer so we can see what it's doing here. Like that. Or we can change it to reflective, something like that. So maybe that's what we are going to, you can play around with the different modes and uh, it'll give you different effects. So of course we could make a border as well if we want to. So we can kind of make this border and we can uh, change the softness of the border. So we want it to be like very, very visible something like that. Maybe that would be great if we were doing some kind of a retro or stylized thing. You could of course change the color if you want to. Let's change it to this yellowish color here. And maybe I want to soften it out just a little bit. Maybe I could also soften up the animation or make it a little bit smaller like that. And then yeah, I could change the animation so it actually does movements. And you can do this with keyframes as well. So let's say we go to the beginning of the clip. I'm going to push in a keyframe here in the animation and I'll just go to the end here around here. And I'm just going to bump up the animation just a little bit, something like that. And now we have this pretty nice effect, I think. Of course, we could also go in and add in noise and details and stuff like that. Let's go a little forward here. Let's take in some details here. Also some seats. And that's the way it's moving. So we could do stuff like that. We can change start and end. And again, all of this, you can keyframe 
which I think is quite nice. So now we have some kind of a pretty weird one. So I'm going to take some of this stuff away. And I'm going to put in some seats here. A little detail like that, I think. Something like that. So now we have created a custom transition. This is our own transition. And if we want to use this for in other projects, it's super easy to save them. So I'm just going to right click here on the transition itself. And I'm going to create transition preset. And this is a noise dissolve, but I'm going to call this uh, line. I'll call this line tran line transition. I'm just going to push OK. And then, you know, I can take my transition I created and just delete it. So if we go up to the effects and to our video transition and we scroll up just a little bit, we're going to have here user and this is our custom transitions and I have my line transition right here. So I can drag this right into the timeline and now I have my transition and I can use this in all of my future projects. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.